Hi, good evening everyone, how are you? So I finished work, it was a decent day, really easy people to get on with, I enjoyed myself today, saving up the money, picking up plenty of uh, extra hours, picking up an additional shift, working tomorrow as well, so Sunday, you know I'm working seven days a week right now, literally, and I'm trying to make phone calls, I'm trying to see if I can get some night shift work. You know, I'm not even fast. You think I care? I don't even care about getting some sleep. I just want money. I just want money right now. But yeah, things are going well. So I met Coogan Cassius recently. So I met him it was last week. And yeah, listen, I wish the guy well. You know, so as I say, I don't know. A lot of you don't really seem to know what I'm like. I'd say. A lot of you obviously don't know what I'm like, you've never even met me. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'd say I'm a logical person, I'm very calm, I'm not aggressive, I'm not aggressive or emotional at all. I, I just, you know, I do things for fun. Some of the videos I've been doing lately, but I only do it if you do something to provoke me face to face. So with Coogan, I'm going to surprise you in terms of what I'm, I'm gonna, going to say but listen I wish the guy well honestly I really do and realistically I don't see any circumstances in which I'm going to call him out because you know the last time I met we've spoken well we've got on well and the only way I would you know call him out is if he does something to provoke me face to face which he hasn't and he's not going to you know, my problem is not with him. There's other people in boxing that I really don't like. Spencer Fearon, Sonny Edwards, Russell Hartley, Maximus Jenkins, plenty of other people. But listen, I wish Coogan well. I've got no issue with him. And if I do, I just don't think it will happen. I've known him for a long time. Him and me go way back. I mean, honestly, we go back. First time we met would have been July... 2010 June July 2010 so him and me go way back I used to interview boxers on camera before he did ask him he'll tell you himself and uh, see a lot of you, you you probably don't know about what I've done in the past some do some don't it's my fault it's because I've deleted all the videos you know I, I deleted all the videos you know when I decided to walk away from boxing but if you ask, there's a lot of people, if you ask them in British boxing, the main people I can tell you, Eddie Hearn, Coogan, David Price, David Hay, Tyson Fury, who else? Who did I meet the other day? Oh yeah, Anthony Joshua. Ask any of those guys. Ask Anthony Joshua, if you ever get the chance, say to him, hey Anthony, do you know a guy called Apollo Jackson? Because was that, that's the name I used to sort of go by 10 years ago. Uh, who else can I... But those are the main guys. Eddie Hearn. Uh, let me see. Who else remembers me from back in the day? Those are the main guys. David Price, Tyson Fury. Ask them if you don't believe me. Say to them, hey, do you know a guy called Apollo Jackson? I guarantee you they remember me. So, listen, me and Coogan go back a long way. So, listen, I wish the guy well. You know, if I was, what is the phrase they use these days, clout chasing? If I was clout chasing, I'd call Coogan up because mostly he's a big guy, you can't underestimate him, but obviously he doesn't train, so on, on paper, surely he's going to be easier than people like Spencer Fear on time, Booth, who's the other one? Sonny Edwards. I mean, Sonny Edwards, I know he's small, but I mean, he's a world class fighter. I don't. I don't want to go down that route where I'm going to start saying, start lying. At the end of the day, he's still a world-class fighter. If I get in the ring with him, the best I could... I'm not saying I can beat him up in the... I'm not... I, I would never suggest that. It's going to be diff very difficult to hit this guy. I'm not denying that. And there's no way I'm not going to stand here and pretend I think I can land a lucky shot. That, you know, if I... Say, let me keep it simple. If I take him on in the next month, I'm not going to land a lucky shot. 
I mean, I might land a few punches, but it's nothing ser- seriously going to hurt him. I've sparred smaller fighters before. Any punch I throw, he's going to see it all coming. I mean, hitting Kell Brook was hard enough. But Kell Brook, I managed to get a lucky shot lucky shot on him because he switched off. Sonny, from, I haven't seen a lot of him, but the way he boxes from the brief footage that I've seen, he's much mentally sharper than Kell is. He doesn't switch off. Kell, that was just a lucky shot I landed. So look, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to land a lucky shot on Sonny, no way. I don't. Hitting him will be difficult enough. As I got a bit distracted. Hitting Sonny, hitting him will be hard enough as it is. And uh, and oh yeah, so what I'm trying to say though, like just because he's, he's going to be a serious challenge. So what I'm trying to say, if I was clout chasing, I'd go, I'd call Krugan out, wouldn't I? He doesn't train, even if he's big. He's he's not. Uh, you, uh, you, let me go somewhere else. A bit of noise in the background. Where's my Insta cards? Must must be in the other pocket. Oh, okay, so right, they're going inside. They're going inside the McDonald's. So let me just finish this video off. I, uh, if I was clout chasing people, I'd call Coogan up because, as I say, even if he's physically big, there's no. He's not going to be more difficult than Ty and Booth, Spencer Fearon. Both those guys are about the same size as him. Maybe a little bit slightly shorter, but Ty and Booth and Spencer Fearon have had plenty of fights. They're going to be harder than Coogan. So what I'm trying to, and Coogan's probably the biggest, na- biggest name of them all. You know, if I and the thing is, I've got a chance. I've got a very good chance against against him. I mean, all I have to do if I got in the ring with Coogan, I'm going to be very respectful and objective. I'm not going to talk out of ego. If I came out swinging and landed some shots on him, that would be enough to a lot of a lot of people would watch that. I'm not saying. I mean, you take a man of that size. I'm not the hardest puncher, so I'm. I'm not gonna say. I, I don't think I can knock him down. But honestly, he doesn't train. You know what I mean, I've, I've boxed, I've sparred, I've had fights. And look, I'm not saying I'm anything. You know, I'm not saying I'm anything special. Yeah, I need to prove it. I need to prove it first. But I reckon I could land some good punches on Coogan. And if I do that, a lot of people would watch that video. So, if I was clout chasing, then you think I'd be calling this guy out? But listen, I wish him well, and you know, um, maybe I should do a separate video, but I really, I want to achieve things in boxing. I don't know how I come across, I don't know if people think I'm, you know, if I'm just talking for the sake of talking or I'm not serious. I do want to have fights, but obviously it's difficult when you're working constantly and you're trying to make ends meet. So I'm going to go back to Eritrea and meet. And you got to understand, while I was there, I it was difficult to get... I mean, look, I met a lot of people, I made a lot of connections, but it took a lot of time and effort. And now that I have those connections, when I go back, I'll be able to film, I'll be able to do documentaries, and the government are going to be involved, they're going to help me. But, you know, right now, I mean, it's difficult to choose between training and working because if I train and I take time off work I'm going to lose a lot of money but then if I work I'm I'm losing training time so I mean like, I'm a decent guy you know I, I'm just trying to do my thing people don't realize how difficult boxing is from a it's not even the boxing I mean I'm not I've got I'm decent I mean I'm not gonna lie and say oh I'm not gonna exaggerate my look, I'm a decent I've got a decent ability but it's difficult where you're trying to where you're not where I'm not making a lot of money from boxing at this moment in time which is fair enough I mean I haven't boxed in 10 years so I had four fights in 2021 I haven't boxed since but you know um, I had a fight in 2011 and then my next fight was to 2021 so that was a 10-year gap so when you haven't boxed in 10 years Obviously, you haven't really got any momentum to build. So, and then I had four fights in 2021. I had, I, I had some momentum, but then you know, just life gets in the way, I suppose. So, I'm fine. You know, maybe I should change my tone of voice. I'm just tired. I'm not, I'm not feeling, um, 
I'm not I'm not feeling sad or anything but I'm just telling you the reality like, let me liven myself up because I don't want you lot to feel think that I'm sad or anything I'm just telling you boxing can be difficult or say it is difficult at this at this stage of a fighter's career when you're at the stage where you haven't built up much of a name or much of a, a resume it's difficult and you know you look at stuff like Cleto Reyes head guard I mean the head guard is 200 quid the gloves are 200 quid the growing guard is I think the growing guard's cheaper but listen all this stuff adds up I bought a gum shield before I went on holiday the gum shield cost a hundred pound and I haven't used it once to tell you the truth just been using my old gum shield but the the new gum shield so I just keep it there for just keep it handy keep it close for now but I mean it cost a hundred pound and you know uh, stuff like massages and I haven't even had a massage in how long has it been? been oh yeah sorry sorry I had massages in Eritrea what am I talking about but I haven't had a massage in the UK for how long because just working all the time and then you know so I'm not I'm not down I'm not feeling depressed or sad or anything but a lot of you just need to take account I mean forget me I'm, I'm not really that important right now but a lot of the fighters in boxing just have a, a bit more empathy and understand when you're at the level of a Shannon Ryan or these new newly turned professionals if your if your dad's not Ricky Hatton or Chris Eubank Senior or Nigel Benton then you know things are difficult you need to be able to do numbers in boxing and if you can't do a lot of numbers people are very cold you know they're not going to treat you with respect they're not going to take you seriously they'll just treat you as if you're irrelevant and that's difficult for a lot of fighters to handle I don't mind it I mean I'm a 32 year old man I've been around the world been to Africa America Europe by myself I see Julius Caesar did it before me so shout out to Julius Caesar but you know a lot of them it is very difficult which is why fighters struggle after boxing but anyway this video is probably going on quite a bit so I think I've said enough for today in this particular video I'll probably do more soon but take care thanks for watching and yeah you know if there's enough interest I might even do a couple of you know I don't know do a couple of sort of I don't know just, just gym events like if anyone wants to meet me I just say look just come down to the gym at 6 p.m. On, on Saturday come come say hello nothing fancy obviously I'm not gonna charge anybody anything stupid like that if you just want to come up to me say hello and have a chat that's not a problem I don't really engage people a lot online which is not really that fast to be honest if it's face to face I'll take them <clears throat> Face to face, I can obviously I can see what you're about. I can see if you're listen to what you have have to say, and we can have a back and forth conversation online. I just can't be bothered anymore. Just I can't be bothered mess talking to people who don't put up your real names, your real photos. So I don't know who you are. Could be some ten ten year old kid or something that I, I don't. Just could be some silly person or. I just, I've got so many demands on my time I just can't be bothered replying to comments people can comment away I don't block anybody I'm, you know, people can leave as many comments as they like I don't block, I don't delete them I've really got very, I've got no interest in reading them anyway but if you want to talk amongst yourselves go for it I believe from what I'm told I believe YouTube sometimes they delete if you use certain words like swear words I think YouTube is the one that deletes them or blocks them or uh, I don't know I, but personally I don't delete or block comments people can write whatever they like I'm not really fussed but listen good luck to all of you so this was an okay video it could have been better I'll do a few more on this subject tomorrow but what I'm trying to say is so my eyes just a bit itchy I don't know why just go out there try things in life try and set yourself goals and go for it so that's what I'm trying to do right now I've made so many mistakes as a young man I wasted my 20s which you know it happens getting distracted but you know I'm 32 now and got a lot of ambition I'm just a bit tired right now that's that's the only reason I'm talking like this I'll do a video first thing tomorrow morning 
and you'll see how energetic I am. But anyway, take care everyone, thanks for watching.